Good morning and uh, welcome to another Memphis Monday. Uh, got my, still got my axe out uh, from last week. I'm, uh, I take it out and look at it every, every day because I think it's wicked. But they tell me I got to do some pressure washing. And the problem is my pressure washer is broken and I got to fix it. So today's adventure, we're going to fix a pressure washer. Uh, and I know the little spout, the little outlet tube on the back is broken. And I don't know what else is broken on it, but we're going to fix it today. So this is going to be a long episode or a short episode. And I don't know exactly what we're going to do. But at the end of the day, we're going to fix that pressure washer. So let's knock off the chatter and get to work. This uh, right here is the outlet pipe uh, on my pressure washer. It uh, actually broke off, well it cracked and was blowing water out and then when I screwed it out it broke off. This is the pressure washing wand here and when that outlet fails This part fails too. You know, there's no way that I can uh, I can reuse this. So I may be able to buy another hose and use uh, use the wand. Let me see if I can get the wand off the hose. Well, I got the uh, wand off the hose, so I don't have to buy that. The uh, the end there, the sprayer end, I'm going to see if I can take that off. Let me zoom in. See if I can turn that bolt. I need a new outlet pipe. And I need a new uh, pressure hose. Let's see if we can find those parts. I got the outlet uh, pipe. I measured my hose that I need to replace and it's uh, about 25 uh, feet long and I'm going to bring my new outlet pipe which I checked to make sure it fits in my pressure washer and I'm going to bring my wand because I got to make sure the hose I get fits into that fitting right there. There's my uh, there's my big truck out there. It's a uh, full size pickup, and it's the truck I usually take to Lowe's when I uh, when I go to Lowe's. But today, since we're just buying we're just buying some little pieces parts for our pressure washer, I'm gonna take my little truck. Well, we're at the Lowe's parking lot. There's other uh, places I could have gone, like uh, Tractor Supply and any number of different places. But I like uh, I like to come here. Now I'm back from Lowe's. I didn't film inside because it was so crowded. Well, you saw how crowded it was. And I don't like to film people without their permission. Uh, 
and some oil to put in it. Okay, let's uh, let's look at what we got. Well, that's basically what I bought right there. It's uh, it's some replacement hose. I could have probably gotten by with uh, using my old hose, but I bought this anyway. This part, uh, which was the original broken part, and then these are uh, quick disconnects, kind of upgrading the system a little bit. Let's see how it goes together. Okay, the first uh, first thing I want to put on is the uh, disconnect. The uh, quick disconnect on the uh, sprayer handle. Now this is the uh, disconnect that's on the hose. This will go right on here. Pull that back. Now it's now it's connected and I can take that hose off easy. Okay, let's go down at the other end of the hose. Okay, and this is the outlet tube we're going to install. And there's the quick connect there. Now they really make two different kinds of uh, pressure washers. Now one kind is the cheap kind with an aluminum pump like this. Um, this thing, to replace this thing is about $300. Um, and then they go up from there up to about $700. But the, the difference between this one and the more expensive models is on the expensive models, they use a brass and stainless steel and, um, you know, machine parts here. Uh, this is just cheap aluminum and it's not very good. I could have gotten this thing going for about $15 just by replacing this tube here. the tube that broke. But I upgraded with these fittings. Um, I upgraded with these uh, quick, uh, quick disconnect fittings and I also bought a new hose. So I got about a hundred in it. Which is silly to spend a hundred dollars on this thing since it's only a $300 machine and it's 10 years old but I like to do this kind of stuff so I counted as uh, I figure I could have uh, spent this much on golf today okay one of the things I did is I drained the oil out of this thing while I was working on it so I'm gonna put some more oil back in it I don't know how much oil this thing takes I think she's full. Okay, let's go hook this thing up to some water and see if, see if it works. Well, here I'm hooking up the uh, <coughs> quick connect for the first time. This is for the uh, pressure hose. Well, 
seem to work. Okay, let me turn the water on. See if we can get this thing started. Here's how you uh, tell if you've uh, got all the air out of the system. You hook up the water and then you open up your sprayer nozzle and if water shoots out that means the system has uh, got all the air out of it. Okay, let's uh, now for the fun part, let's see if we can get this uh, motor running. Okay, I usually keep the gas turned off until I get it started. I got that pressure washing done and I brought it back in here to clean it up a little bit but you can see the quick connects here on this this is the outlet side I already showed you this but I just want to re-emphasize how important it is you can put these quick connects on and then in the same thing with the same thing with the handle here, the sprayer. You just pull that thing back and connect it up. Now, what makes that such a good idea is now that I'm finished with this thing and probably won't use it again for months, I can take this handle off and drain the water out of it. Take this out and I can drain the water out of this hose and now everything is stored dry instead of having this line filled with uh, filled with water. Now on the original uh, on the original hose and stuff there there was a a hand a hand screw here but those things don't work after a while and you can't you can't do it. So anyway if you have one of these things, I'd recommend putting these quick connects on so you can take it apart after every use. Well, that does it for another uh, Memphis Monday. Uh, today we got our uh, uh, pressure washer fixed. You know how I like to fix things. I do enjoy fixing things. Uh, I could have uh, probably got this thing to work uh, for 15 bucks, but I really want to upgrade the uh, the connectors so I bought these bells and whistles uh, quick connects and I bought a new hose but anyway she's uh, working good you saw it uh, work a few minutes ago um, I got my pressure washing done and and so forth and so on and I think it's uh, we didn't uh, not a very long uh, video but I think we got our money's worth well anyway um, a tweet and uh, Facebook and Google Plus and comment and all that great stuff you do on um, on the internet and I guess that's it. No, no, one more thing. Make sure you're back here next week for another exciting Memphis Monday.